In this video, I'm going to show you 10 swing mistakes you're probably not even aware of. So here we go. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebensdag here. We're all about kettlebells. So if you are into kettlebells, then like this video and consider subscribing. Mistake number one, you don't know what swing you are doing. There are, in my opinion, three different types of swings. Number one is the kettlebell sports swing. Number two is the heart style swing. And number three is the hybrid. These three different types of swings have three specific goals. So in order to reach your specific goal, you have to understand what kind of swing you want to engage yourself in. Number two, you rip it and you grip it. Now, one thing that many people have a problem with is their palm skin. And while calluses do form, this doesn't mean that you always have to fully destroy your palm skin and walk around with bloody hands. Now, when you are working with competition kettlebells, different weight classes, but all the same size, then you have to understand how to grab it, especially if you do a hybrid or a kettlebell sports swing. And even if you do hard style, especially double-handed, you also have to know how to grab it. Now, what I like to do is I engage in the so-called finger grip. I do not grab the kettlebell in a crush grip like this, but I grab it in a so-called finger grip where my palm does not connect with the handle. If you're using chalk, you also have to be careful because it may exacerbate the problem of ripping it and gripping it and therefore destroying your skin if your technique is not yet safe. Number three, you don't know the difference between a hinge and a squat. Now watch me, this is a hinge. Watch me again, this is a squat. If you don't know the difference between these two, you will have a hard time with your swing. Because the sport, as well as the hybrid, mostly engage in a hinge, the hard style as well. But sometimes if you work with very heavy weights, which the hard style favors, then it may be that your knees start bending to a certain extent. Now, if you always engage into a squat variation of a swing, I do not belong into the camp that says this is wrong if you want to do it. However, you're not profiting from the best benefits that a swing provides if you engage in a proper hinge because a proper hinge means you are flexing your hip. This means your posterior chain gets a great stretch and then you are extending your hips which means your posterior chain gets a lot of work done. And this is one of the main missions of the swing. Number four, you are not hinging at all. This is what I see sometimes happening. So even if you know the difference between a hinge and a squat, you still have to know how to apply a hinge. And we see from experience that many people are not used engaging their glutes. And how does it look like when you engage your glutes, you connect with the kettlebell, you start hinging, and when you are on top, you are fully extending. So you squeeze your glutes, you pull your kneecaps up, and you are like in a, almost in a plank position, especially when it comes to the lower part of your body. This is where you have a lot of power and force, and you hold that position. If you are missing out on the hinge, it always looks like this, that the kettlebell starts traveling, but you're still kind of in that mini hinge position because you're either not bending or you're not extending. And this is a main reason why your swing might be off or might feel off. Number five, you exaggerate the hinge. Now you may be like, what? I thought the swing was supposed to be a hinge exercise. Yes, it is. But there is nuance to this. 
like in so many cases. If I do a kettlebell sports swing with a heavier weight, now I'm just using a 16 kg for demonstration purposes, watch my hips. So when you engage in a kettlebell sports swing, you are engaging in a so-called lower back stretch mechanism, which I have learned from honored master of sport, Valery Fedorenko. He says that if we are just hinging to a certain extent, but we are kind of stretching the lower back a little bit, he said that even in his team, when he was lifting kettlebells and they were working in, in the same building with these professional weightlifters and powerlifters, when these guys had blown up their lower back, like he says it, a lot of blood comes through because you always have to work like this, keeping everything tight. Then they were doing kettlebell sports swings to relax that muscle, to relieve that tension. So yes, while it is important that you have to engage in a hinge in all three exercises, the hybrid, the hard style, as well as the kettlebell sport, if you are opting in for the kettlebell sport, it may be that your hinge is not as extreme and you don't even have to exaggerate it in that case. Number six, you swing away instead of up. Now for this problem, I have a video dedicated with a master tip right here that you can check out. So what happens is, People are swinging and they are swinging away, swinging away. And it always feels like any moment that the kettlebell falls outside of your grip. You can correct this by thinking that you have a wall in front of you and that you are not swinging only in the horizontal plane in this one but you are swinging in that half circle. So from the horizontal kind of up to a vertical plane in this area right here. So then you fully extend your lower body and your upper body relaxes, relaxes a little bit, especially in the hybrid version. And then the kettlebell travels upwards a little bit. So let me demonstrate again. This is how I can make sure that the kettlebell doesn't travel too far outside my center of mass, and therefore I don't feel like the kettlebell wants to travel away from me or that I'm losing at the grip at any instant. Number seven, your arm dominant. A huge beginner mistake that I really want you to avoid, and that is so important that we always say you need proper weights because proper weights are instructive and they will teach you that you cannot always use your arms because if you do, your arms burn out and this tells you, ah, I think I was working too much with my arms instead of my hips. And on a short notice, many of our clients say the same when we are learning the swing, the next day they show up, they're like, wow, I still feel it in my lower arms or in my arms in general, this means you are arm dominant. So what does that look like? As you can see, almost no hip engagement and everything comes from the arms. This also ties into the problem of rip it and grip it. Think about the swing as an exercise where your arms are like hooks because we need to attach the weight somewhere and these are your hands, but your hips and your legs are doing most of the Work. Number eight, your timing is off. Now there's a abbreviation that we use when we learn to swing, we call it ABC, the arm body connection. Now, I want to make sure that my arm connects to my body as long as, long as possible. And I also want to make sure that, that when the arm disconnects from my body, that this is as short as possible. Now if I mess that up, then I always pull my hips back instinctively because I wanna protect what's between my legs, first of all. And I always think, okay, how can I make this work with this so-called lumbopelvic rhythm that you have to engage in when you are using a ballistic maneuver like this swing? So this is what it looks like.
Exaggerating? So the arm-body connection is something that is crucial because in the so-called amortization phase, when you hand over the kettlebell, doesn't matter if you use hand-to-hand -hand or if you use both hands, the arms have to reconnect with your body first before you engage in the hinge. Because this is the proper feedback that your hips and your legs are getting, and then you embrace that proper rhythm and then you can use the full force of your legs. Number nine, your takeoff is off. This is a so-called triangle. Let me demonstrate what it looks like if my takeoff is off. That's one way. Another way. What you are essentially doing is wasting your first rep. And here comes the triangle, a proper takeoff maneuver. You want the kettlebell approximately half a meter in front of you. What you can do for the beginning is you put the kettlebell between your legs like you would do in a deadlift. You take one step back or you do the so-called 90-90. Out, out, little jump. And now you can see the kettlebells in front of me ready for the first rep. And the reason why this looks like a triangle is if I look down on my feet, my feet form the bottom of the triangle and the kettlebell forms the top of the triangle. And now I can start by pulling the kettlebell a little bit towards me and boom, I do not have to waste the first rep. Number 10, you're using the wrong weight. This ties in to number one. You have to know what kind of swing you're doing. If you are doing a kettlebell sports swing and you're good at it, you can go from 8 to 48 kg. If you are using a heart style swing, you need proper weights. First of all, you have to learn to exercise with lighter weights, but then with the heart style, you have to upgrade up to, let's say, like in 24, 28, 32, depending on what gender you are. And with the hybrid, you're always in these moderate ranges. I, for example, love to use the 16 kg for a hybrid swing, and I go up to 20, 24, and as soon as I upgrade it to the 10, 28, I feel like my hinge is breaking down a little bit, and then I have to adjust my swing. This is crucial because using the wrong weight will always give you the wrong feedback. And as Pavel says, heavy weights are instructive and I would say using the proper weight is instructive. Bonus tip, your breathing and therefore your synchronicity is off. Now remember how I said this is the lumbopelvic rhythm. It is a rhythm that you engage in with the kettlebell because it's a ballistic maneuver. So therefore, if it is a rhythm, kind of like a dance, we have to know how to breathe. Now, let me demonstrate how I breathe in the hybrid swing. I'm inhaling through the nose in the back swing, and I'm exhaling when the kettlebell's on top. Now, if you do continuous work, it may be that inhaling through the nose is not possible anymore because your airways up here are constricted. Then you just breathe in through your mouth, but make sure you try to breathe in through your nose as much as possible. This will guarantee you synchronicity first. And as a proper pro tip now, when it comes to synchronicity is, what happens to your ghost hand? This is the leading hand where you lead the kettlebell. Now what happens to your ghost hand? You want to synchronize the movement. Your arms have to mirror themselves, especially when you do a hand-to-hand -hand hybrid swing, because this will add to the fact that you know how to synchronize the movement with your body in and all by itself. Because a ballistic exercise involves this very important rhythm that you have to master. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, consider subscribing, and let me know down in the comments what you want to see next.
The world of kettlebells is dominated by two training styles called heart style and kettlebell sport. Although vastly different in nature, they have been proven to work and give you the most bang for your buck whenever you pick up a kettlebell, if you understand them correctly and are able to differentiate between the two. If you are a beginner, this task might be understandably confusing. Enter the hybrid style and discover how to combine the best of both worlds. The hybrid style masterclass is a 10 week practice based online course that will help you take your kettlebell skills to an elite level. Mate in Switzerland. Learn what's been holding you back and how to become a versatile kettlebell master without having to piece together countless YouTube videos or rely on a gym membership. The price of the Hybrid Style Masterclass is 397 US dollars per month for three months. Save 20% with a one-time payment of 997 US dollars. We'll open registration only to a small number of new students every three months. Join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public. Link is in the description.